Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni. Amy's here to help me. And we're going to be looking at the, the natural twist, the natural rotation in the foot, and how the foot is really kind of this, this twisted plate from the forefoot to the hind foot. Now this is a little piece of beautiful origami and they're sushi flyers and this we're going to create the foot with this. So if this is the first metatarsal, right, and back here is the heel. So just in a neutral um, foot, just in a mid stance foot, there is quite a bit of rotation through the foot. And then when we go to push off on the ball of our foot, our foot creates this enormous spiral if we have the ability, um, both the mobility and the stability in our foot to do it. Most of us, because we're in shoes all the time and we're kind of favoring the inside of one foot and the outside of the other foot, um, our feet are pretty locked up and they don't find this natural spiral. And this um, massage that Amy and I are going to do to the feet kind of reignite that counter rotation of the, the fore and the hind foot. All right, so we're going to cross. Let's do the same foot. So let's cross right ankle over the left knee. And then you can take your left hand onto the heel and the right hand, we're going to put the right hand right below the balls of the feet. So we're actually on this part going to inspire the, the hind and the midfoot. So we're looking at the calcaneus and the long metatarsal bones. So on a slow exhale, I want to rotate the heel down and the midfoot up towards the ceiling, like it's a, a dish towel that we're trying to wring out. And then you go in the opposite direction. So the inner heel goes up and the midfoot goes down. Let's do that two more times, slow and controlled. And once you've done the ro rotation, check in on your face, your jaw, your shoulders, and then even kind of on a diagonal pull the, um, the hind foot and the mid foot apart and then go in the opposite rotation then check on your shoulders your jaw and the face and then in the diagonal pull it apart let's do two more of those and pull it apart like you're trying to pull the thumbs away from one another and then go in the opposite direction pulling the thumbs away from one another all right so now we're going to try to inspire um, the forefoot away from the midfoot. So we're gonna take the fingers between the toes, and for a lot of people this is hard, but you wanna try to get the webbing of the fingers and the webbing of the toes towards each other. So now we're gonna do the twist of the foot in the, the um, metatarsal heads and the, the long bones um, right in that midfoot. So on your exhale, we're gonna rotate the toe pads down to the floor, and then the long metatarsal bones up towards the ceiling. And then on the next exhale, the toe pads are gonna rotate up, and the long metatarsal bones are gonna move down. Let's do two more of those. So here, once you find rotation, again, check in on your shoulders, your face, find that diagonal pull, and then change, toe pads up to the ceiling, trying to rotate the long bones of the metatarsals down towards the floor. Now take that same hand to your heel. And then we're gonna do, um, finally, the finale, the forefoot and the hind foot. So we're gonna rotate balls of the feet up, heel down, and then rotate balls of the feet down, heel up. Good, and so now with all that prep work that we did before, you should really feel a contrast through the hind and forefoot. So you can imagine your foot as that piece of origami that we just looked at in the beginning, <laughs> spiraling away from each other. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.